హాయ్ రైట్ నౌ ఐమ్ ఇన్ వైజాగ్ ద కోస్టల్ సిటీ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ విశాఖపట్నం వీ హెడ్ కమ్ ఫర్ ఎ ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ వి ఆర్ జస్ట్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఎ వర్క్ షాప్ ఫర్ ద కిడ్స్ టీచర్స్ అండ్ అడల్ట్స్ ఇన్ విశాఖపట్నం అండ్ మెనీ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఆస్కింగ్ మీ అబౌట్ స్లీప్ డూ వీ రియలీ నీడ్ టు స్లీప్ ఇఫ్ ఎస్ దెన్ హౌ మెనీ అవర్స్ దట్స్ అ క్వశ్చన్ విచ్ హెడ్ కమ్ ఇన్ ద సెమినార్ టుడే అండ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఆస్క్ యువర్ ఒపీనియన్ యాజ్ టు వాట్ యూ థింక్ స్లీప్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ రియలీ రిక్వైర్డ్ yes of course because any engine if you run it continuously and it will fail so it needs some rest so we get up in the morning we keep working till night so physically mentally we get exhausted and brain needs to rest body needs rejuvenation re energy so only when we sleep that's when our body and our mind both of them they become fresh and will be able to work again so that little break is very very important why because i experienced this personally you all of you know that i gave a speech non stop for 120 hours longest lecture marathon five nights six days without sleeping the rule was like this if you sleep four hours you are entitled for only 20 minutes of break you want to sleep you want to go to washroom you want to take bath is only 20 minutes available like that i spoke non stop for 5 nights 6 days you can check that on the guinness world records website as well and if you don't sleep then what will happen your metabolism would get affected your salt sugar bp levels will get affected and we go mad our voice will not be congruent our thoughts will not flow properly and your body will break down and i had gone through trained by some gurus on how to control on your food how to control and sleep then one of my guru told me very important point he said you have to sleep that's absolutely right but how many hours so i could speak for five nights six days but i still had a break but imagine if you don't sleep for one day don't sleep for two days you and i will die so sleep is compulsory number one now how many hours should we sleep is it that eight hours ten hours is it 12 hours why is it that some people sleep less but when they wake up they feel very fresh some people sleep 18 to 12 20 hours also but when they get up they still feel jaded they feel exhausted they don't feel fresh then my guru told me it is not about the length of sleep it is the depth of sleep that is very important he said it is not about the length of sleep how many hours you sleep does not important how deep you sleep means how effect till you sleep first and foremost when you lie down on the bed we keep tossing up and down we keep surfing the mobile sending whatsapp message we are on instagram we watching tv we keep sending messages and sometimes sometime you go to sleep and early in the morning you put up alarm but you don't want to get up alarm would snooze and then you put it off again sleep for half an hour more one hour more and it goes on sometimes i understand that though you sleep 10 12 hours but still you are not feeling fresh that means it is not about the length of sleep it is the depth of sleep you may sleep just 4 hours a day but if you sleep effectively and if you have good sleep that means you wake up with renewed energy if that's not possible then you will always feel dejected and you will feel very depressed you feel exhausted so very important so it's not about the length of sleep is a depth of sleep so my personal experience has been that 4 hours of sleep is perfectly okay for human being like us for children who are up to 18 19 we call teen age 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 we call teen age up till up to then they need to sleep maybe 7 hours a day why children grow in height only when we sleep right they burn energy they run they scream they play a lot of physical games so um, the body muscles how to get you know fresh and the bones how to become strong when only when you sleep so if children are deprived of sleep then they don't grow in height they don't become physical fit so they need to sleep more people like us who are 30 plus we don't physically exert ourselves then we need to sleep less so my experience has been 4 hours of sleep is perfectly okay 4 hours miss but you should be good sleep when you hit the bed within 1 minute you should be able to doze off you should be able to sleep off and when you put the alarm you should be able to get up at that time very important most problem is we wake up but we don't get up do you understand the difference you wake up 
but you don't get up so there's a gap between waking up and getting up so you remain wide awake but you don't feel like getting up so that one second that fraction of that second if you can control the temptation to jump up of the bed and then you rush to washroom brush your teeth uh, and then take bath and the whole world will be under your feet you are going to become the winner so you need to overcome that little temptation that weakness of not getting up from bed so you wake up but don't get up so make sure that waking up getting up both will simultaneously will happen automatically the moment you wake up you are going to jump off the bed and you are going to rush to washroom brush your teeth and have a glass of milk and then start studying or going for you know jogging or go to gym whatever you want to do you do it and you feel so good so four to four and a half sleep is very very enough for all of us so it's about the depth of sleep that's very important i had been practicing this i remember when i was in the air force morning 4 o'clock they would make us to wake up and daily i used to scold why they wake us up and 10 o'clock they want us to sleep so that's called lights out time you can't read after 10 o'clock lights out to be off so we have been taught the basic discipline what time to sleep what time to get up and my body has got tuned to it so the moment it's become 10 10 15 wherever i am and my body will automatically starts to understand biologically i'm supposed to sleep and 4 o'clock whether i put alarm i don't put alarm wherever i am automatically i get up i might have gone to the second show night show movie even though i slept at 1 o'clock doesn't really matter i'm in a party maybe sometimes but when i sleep even at 1 o'clock morning 4 o'clock automatically my body will wake up so that had been training my body that means body will be able to understand and remember something very important we all have got only 24 hours in a day whether you are the prime minister of the country president of us doesn't really matter you and i have got only 24 hours of time and if you spend more time on bed more time is sleeping you have less time to achieve or accomplish whatever your dreams are so recently i met one of the principal of a school near vijayawada man must be around 67 68 years old he keeps walking up and down to different classrooms he keeps supervising every teaching class i asked him sir um, you know why don't you take rest and he looked at me and he showed me far away there was a graveyard he said you know when i die i have enough time to sleep in my grave right now i am alive i am kicking i need to accomplish i have achieved i need to achieve once i die i'll sleep but for me 4 hours enough so he told me the same thing now and i learned from a guru as well the depth of sleep important i learned the same thing in my air force as well so all great people they don't sleep long but they sleep deep means effectively they sleep so for that effect to sleep make sure that you sleep at the same time get up at the same time number 1 and the moment you put alarm the moment you decide to get up in the morning the moment you wake up that's the time you need to jump off the bed and rush to washroom and that one minute you need to overcome the temptation and then understand that as you keep aging so you know that physically you are not getting exa- exhausted so you need to you know sleep less and less and if you follow these principles i'm sure it will be perfectly okay so these are some of the principle but make sure that you sleep and those of you who are on computer those of you who are into uh, chart accountancy those of you who are into medical operations some people who are end up reading lot of books and if you think that mentally you are getting exhausted you are a ceo of a company you are the president of the country what you can do is that afternoon you may have small nap called power nap maybe 20 minutes so i have been uh, i was in the, with a company called mind tree consulting and my ceo afternoon 3 o'clock to 3:30 there is to be a red bulb outside that uh, not to be disturbed he want to pick up call and uh, one day understood what he does then i came to know that you know in his cabin behind there was a door when you open up there is a small little room there is a bed there and at 3 o'clock he go on, goes on lies down 20 minutes he goes off to sleep that's called power nap he would count numbers 1 to 100 100 back to 1 he goes to sleep and 20 minutes he gets up he brushes his teeth and then he changes his dress washes his face and comes back and next 6 to 7 hours he is fully energetic so that what that's what you can do that means when you think that 4 hours is not sufficient so check your routine if there is a feasibility if there is a possibility and if there is a provision in the office or in a business and you can take some small little nap 15 20 25 minutes if you can take a nap and i'm sure next 6 7 hours will be fully effective and you'll be 
very very enthusiastically be able to achieve lot of things so you need to plan your day accordingly understand we have limited time on this planet we have only 24 hours a day and then let us not waste more time in lying on the bed and you know, you know dreaming about what we want so as abdul kalam said dreams are not those which i see when i go to sleep dreams are those when i have i it won't let me to go to sleep that's what abdul kalam ji said and that's what i'm trying to tell you so all of you want to become rich you want to become famous you want to be nobel prize you want to become bharat ratna you want to you know achieve whatever you want for that you have only you and i only have got the time and that time that you need to use this resource effectively to become really effective so think about it so make sure that you are you are able to plan your sleep properly and it's all about not about the length but the depth of sleep that's important my advice to people like me and now those of watching 30 plus people 4 to 4 and a half hours is enough for you children let them sleep 6 to 6 and a half 7 hours sleep is perfectly okay and if time permits now you may take a nap for 20 minutes in the afternoon that will really make you very effective so plan your day accordingly i'm sure if you can plan and if you can implement whatever we are discussing i'm sure the whole world will be under your feet and you will become the champion and the moment you get up in the morning you know that early bird catches worm and you know that you have already accomplished many things before others have got it so think about it plan your sleep properly and make sure that you make your dreams real in your life and i wishing all the best from wizak jaisama signing off thank you bye bye